Thanks for joining us today. I have Dave Ito with me. Dave is the product manager for our CVWR series, Weekend Receiver. This is an exciting new product from Camden that we've just introduced over the last couple of months. Dave, tell me a little bit about the product and why it's important to installers. This technology gives the ability to have 300 feet range. So that opens up a lot more opportunities for the uh, security installer. Can you tell me what sets the CVWR system apart from the competitors, the other systems that are on the market? We made the product very um, installer friendly, meaning that we gave you an IP64 65 enclosure so you can automatically mount this outdoors. Um, that will uh, give you the ability to get closer to the access point. Now, what makes this product a little different than other products that you see out there in the, in the industry already is that we were very conscientious of the fact that, that we want to extend the existing access control system security feature sets onto this. So, one of the name, main concerns of all these technology of these products is um, they don't want to be cloned. So we spent some time on the encryption side, on the transmission, and also on the type of uh, coils that we have inside of it. One high-end feature that we put in here is that we have four channels in here. So why do you mean by four channels? So I have a four-button transmitter. I have four different outputs I can uh, designate onto this receiver. And that's important for the security guy, because now the security guy can now differentiate button one, button two, button three, button four and all that outputs on those wagon outputs, he ties it in. He knows how to do this already. Car reader one, car reader two, car reader three, car reader four. So all that is um, really good for the installer because he's not learning something new, right? We also make sure that you, when you integrate this, it's using the wagon protocol. So if you have an access control system that's using wagon, this is going to work for you. We also use a 26-bit format on there, which traditional other systems have been out there. The difference between ours and theirs is that we put in here the ability to field programmable the facility code of this unit. So you can match th this transmitter to the database facility code that's already in your system. You talked about the advantages of having an IP65 rated enclosure. That means you don't have to put it in another enclosure to keep it uh, out of the weather. Are there any other advantages of the receiver that installers should know about? One thing when you install the system, um, if you don't have any type of visual and indication, you don't know if the product is actually picking up the transmission of the transmitter. So we have a power on indicator on the product. We also have a uh, data uh, confirmation of the information getting from the transmitter to the receiver has been picked up and identified. So you da have that authentication. And once you connect up to the WIGAN outputs of this unit to your access control system and the door or gate doesn't open, you know it's on the controller side, on the software side, so at least you rest assured that this part is operating fine. We also have, as we talked earlier about the dip switches on here, you can see that we have eight dip switches. You can set the dip switches um, from 1 to 255 on the facility code for 26-bit wagon formats. Okay, and we also have removal turn blocks, which it seems minor, but a lot of installers love that. When uh, they are doing any type of wiring, they just connect all the wires uh, within it's off the board and just plug it right back into the boards. So Dave, I know there's a number of key fobs that are available to support the system. Can you run us through them? Sure. So what I have here is our first model. Um, it's called a WTX2. It's a mini. You can see it's small, has a small footprint. Um, this unit here will facil facilitate a majority of the installations that you have out there. We have in here um, a HID Prox. Um, so it's going to be compatible to typical HID Prox readers out there in the industry. Um, and one thing I want to bring up uh, for everybody is all of our family of products is operated at 868 megahertz. And that center frequency is going to be a better performance for you because it's on the uncluttered uh, area or frequency, center frequencies about 400 or 300 megahertz, which typically some of the other brands are using. There's two other fobs that are in the line as well. Yes, yeah. So what we've introduced is the WTX2H. And then I in, we introduce the WTX4H with the four button. And what we introduce this to accommodate the field concern of the cloning that's been rampant on these prox coils that have uh, been used at 125 kilohertz. So what we've done in these uh, transmitters, we've encapsulated the HID I-Class SE into these ones. Because of the coils of bigger diameter, we had to increase the size of the casing. Um, one thing nice uh, as well, you see that this casing, unlike some of our competitors, it's metal. So this is going to last you for decades. 
One thing uh, also, what we've done is on our transmitters, we've laser etched the ID numbers so that the installer and the property manager can easily identify the ID number of the product. The whole family of our products that we have um, is using a proprietary encryption code on the transmission side. So typically you're fine in the cars, now they have home link in their car visors and we prevent that from happening because again we're siding on the security side and we're looking after the interests of the security and the property manager so these uh, things cannot be cloned. You spoke earlier of the four channel uh, WR series receiver um, as a multi-point uh, receiver. Can you talk about that a little bit more? Yeah, it's a four channel receiver so most access control uh, system integrators will uh, take advantage of the four channels of saying for button one as you may designate for reader A and button two for reader B and then he can assign that reader A and B for an east or west entrance point for uh, let's say a gain back to a common parking facility. Um, in addition to that we have a channel three and four so again uh, using that same uh, train of thought, within 300 feet range, you can now actually pick up four different access points within that facility. Because you have the four channels too, and you're looking at the parking, some people I see they're using counters. So the software of the access control system will have a counter in there, so then you can have button one for in, button two for out. So now you're counting how many vehicles are in that facility and what time and how long they've been in. But more importantly, they can determine in advance when the parking uh, lot is full for the visitor parking. Tell me about competitive uh, products or technologies to the CVWR system. One of them is the long range readers. Long range readers, yes, um, you can uh, install those on a gate or a post, um, but it needs some mechanical structure and investment on that because that must pick up very directional on the ID tags on the vehicle that's coming in. The Camden uh, CVWR system ultimately is easier to install, uh, it's less expensive, and it's designed to provide years of uh, performance with uh, very, very little maintenance. Correct. And no training. And no training. All right. All right. Well, thank you very much for joining us today. For more information about Camden's CVWR series Wigan Receiver and Fobs, please visit our website at camdencontrols.com or give us a call. 